Some of the people I had picked out beforehand, uh, but most of them, they, they got into auditions down there. And, uh, and one, one interesting thing, we were looking for Chris Brooks, and, and uh, she, as you remember, was, was the Brooks daughter who was in love with love. And she was there, uh, when the actress was there, and uh, sitting with us during all this was Mike Owens, who was uh, in charge of daytime for the network. And, uh, and we're watching the people come in and read for us. And after she was over, I said, we, I, as far as I'm concerned, we have our Brooke right there. Uh, uh, not Brooke, Chris. We have our Chris right there. Well, Mike's behind me. I don't know that that's his wife. And uh, he, was, he was very, very thrilled by that. But uh, we had, uh, they, we, we, John, uh, I have to give him credit, though. John uh, Convoy uh, found some good people and, uh, and worked with some good agents, but we, we ended up with a solid company. Oh, because this was a show that had such a different look when it started. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people were thrown by the look that the people were beautiful and young and mm -hmm. young and beautiful, which was not something that daytime was really known for mm -hmm. at the time. And it, it, it probably helped stories in a lot of ways, but it probably took the audience a while to, to catch their breath and realize that some of these people are just stunning to look at. As a writer, did you ever think that sometimes the people were taking away from Never. the story? Never. Uh, they, were, they were our people. They were our selection. They were reading our lines. So if anything was wrong, it probably had to do with us, that the lines were wrong and the casting was wrong. But we, no, we, we felt very comfortable. Again, we were not novices in the business. We'd been in the business a long time and worked with a lot of characters and, uh, and felt comfortable. I mean, we knew with, with many of them that adjustments had to be made. We knew that growth had to be achieved. And we, but we also were confident that these things would happen. Let me ask you about casting your daughter. A lot of people, when you cast Laura Lee, say, you know, she's not. She's, she's new. She's untested. She's never acted before. And now she's considered one of the best actresses on daytime yeah. TV. That's got to give you a proud moment as a father. Absolutely. To see her, to see her born. But uh, to put that in, in perspective, um, when we used to come out here, and we didn't come out that often, but whenever, if we brought Laura Lee out, in fact, we did for a few times, but one time we let Laura Lee, we were doing a, 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 a scene. We were a half hour then, yet I think. Oh, definitely, because when we get to an hour, that's all the story. But, um, and, and, and Kate Chassel was going somewhere on an airplane. Well, we said, you know, we arranged for Laura Lee to follow her on the airplane. <laughs> That was Laura Lee's first experience on television. Was she, what was she, nine, nine uh, years old or something like that? But in any event, she was never the same after, after that. And, uh, but she got on the plane. And, uh, and, then, and then she would come on and she would do, uh, oh, once or twice a year, she would, she would have a walk on. And, and I think maybe we finally gave her a couple of lines. With no great expectations, mind you. And no, but, but it was just something to to give her a kick, if you will. But then, well, but then, yeah. 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 But then she became, yes. very often the summer storyline. Exactly. The young teen storyline. Exactly. 